Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Michi Makes Up. It's that time of the year, Shanta Kai is having their annual Sylvie sale. And I am very excited, I'm so pleased to have the opportunity to bring the sale to you guys earlier than to the general public. Uh, I was able to do this last year and the year before, and I'm just so pleased that um, I can do this again this year with a uh, code specifically to share with you. Um, so some details about the sale. Uh, for this VIP sale, uh, which you guys will be able to participate in with the code, that sale begins on July 24th through the 26th. And then starting on July 27th, the sale then becomes open to the general public. So I will have my code below in the description. Um, actually, I'll probably pop it up here in the video as well. Um, all you have to do is before you check out, punch in this code and you should see a 25% off discount apply to your order. There are no exclusions as far as I know. This includes the philanthropy um, collections as well. So in this video about um, my recommendations this year, over the past year I did get to try a couple of different things. Um, so I definitely, I don't think I've showed you um, in previous years. So I definitely want to include in this video. We'll make this very succinct and sweet. I might go kind of quickly if I've covered it uh, a few times before. But these contain to be my favorite items and that's why uh, I still want to include them in these videos. On the left hand side are makeup items and on the right hand side are skincare products. So we're going to start with the uh, makeup items first and then move our way to the right side with the skincare. Care. Whenever I think of the brand Chantika, I think of some of my, you know, top beauty items from them, and that is going to be their lip sheets. I have two here because uh, this is what I use today for my makeup look, and the lip sheets all have a kind of sweet cookie vanilla scent to them, and they have a glossy finish. The product doesn't slide around; it's very comfortable, and it's just a non-fussy. Uh, this here, by the way, is in the shade Meadow, and it's just not fussy. Easy to apply, easy to reapply. And then this shade here is Crocus. From These two are from different collections, but you can see this is more a warmer, more coral, and this is a cooler uh, pink. And so I have Crocus on right now, but earlier in the day, I did actually put on some Meadow. They do have some shades that are available kind of perennially and they don't follow any specific collection that are uh, limited editions. Any shade that catches your eye and I do I do know they have some in stock uh, right now because items do sell out. That's the other thing I want to mention is after a few days there's a lot of items that tend to sell out during the sale and that's why um, being able to shop early is is pretty great especially if you're looking to restock anything that you uh, really enjoy. So these are the lip sheets. Um, any shade that catches your eye, I highly recommend them. It's just like, they're very comfortable. They have that beautiful glossy finish. And when it comes to lipstick scents, um, I enjoy mint, the sweet cookie vanilla scent, and then no scent. So those are my three. And so these are perfect in that way. The next item on my list are going to be something that I think is a bit underrated, under the radar, unless uh, unless you know them, then you probably have a few of these shades already, but it's actually their single pot shadows. They have a um, metallic shimmer line as well as a matte line. So what I have here, and I'm wearing two of the shades today, is the Mermaid Eye Mattes in a gray shade called Olivia. It's very cool. And a warmer shade called Sylvie. That's a brown. Sylvie is what I have under, like all over the lid here as a base color. And these go on, well, these are creamy and then they dry to like a powder finish. It feels very much like baked gelée. Um, and it's really beautiful. It really adheres to your lid. Uh, it doesn't accentuate lines or bumps. And I just find them to be really beautiful. Um, Olivia, this gray is actually too cool for my skin tone, but um, Sylvie is just perfect. So if you have a cool undertone or fully blonde, I think Olivia may be a good fit for you. And then on the kind of other side are the shimmer colors. And I have 
starfish here. I'd like to pick up another one of these uh, shimmer shades. Starfish is what I have sort of all over the lid from above the lash line through the center to give it to give this look more dimension and I just want to show you how easy it is to use these shades. So just lightly kind of do that to deepen it. I didn't use my finger today, but you certainly can because that's how simple and easy they are to use. You can also use these shades just all over the lid as a single shadow and that's it. You don't have to do anything else to it. Um, if you find any shade that is a good fit for your skin tone is gonna look great on you. And I find that this um, starfish shade here, this like mauve is pretty um, universal in that way, uh, whether you have warmer, or cooler skin tones, it can be a good fit uh, for you as well. So I highly recommend them. I really like them. I always go back to them for um, a simple makeup look or even just using a few things to build uh, a more complex look as well. On top of the two mermaid shades, I also put a glitter shade just to give this look a little bit more, just something special. And I use our luminescent eye shade in Pangolin. This is a dusty lilac, if I remember correctly, and it's got this a good base tone to it. So once again, you can use this as a single shadow if you want, um, or what I did was just pop it in the center to give it more oomph right in the center here. And I think the speed I was able to get this done was very quick, very, very pleased with that. So love their single, you know, round potted eyeshadows, but the luminescent eye shades um, from their Thalanthropy collection really does stand out. And these are gonna be part of the annual sale. I thought I had more of them, but I actually only have a handful. Um, anything you see that catches your eye, this one here is, I think like a champagne, Actually, no, it's more like a bronzy copper. And then if you want something lighter in terms of undertone, then you have more of a champagne shade. This is Cheetah. And the one you just saw before with that kind of coppery tone is Lion. And then we have a deeper taupe shade. This is Elephant. They also have a is it like smoky lilac and then um, also like a rose gold shade. So they're they're just gorgeous. They do expand these every now and then and every single shade is beautiful. So I love these. I do recommend them. You can use it all over your lid or just kind of like pop it on as an accent the way I did today. And I did use my finger um, for both eyes as well, not just the demonstration. Hopefully that gives you an idea of what these shadows can do. All right, moving on, um, but we're still on shadows here. I noticed, and every year Chantecaille, maybe twice a year, releases a uh, quartet eyeshadow compact. They are tied to specific collections. This is from their Wild Meadows collection, and this is currently still available. These typically sell out um, pretty quickly, a few months after the collection's launched. I'm currently still seeing this available. If you are interested in this color story, and I do like it, I think it's really beautiful. These two shades alone, you can create a look with it um, that's just more brown, taupey, if you're not into wearing pink every day. But if pink is your thing, you'd be surprised on how complimentary these are to a very centrally pink shade. I have a whole video on this collection here. I'll have a link below if you're interested in checking out, but it is currently still available on the website and you can get it um, with the discount. All right, we're down to the last makeup item. And these are going to be the bronzers, the Big Gelé bronzers. Now, I do wanna preface what I'm about to show you is actually no longer available, but this year they did release a new shade as part of um, this Real Bronze collection. It's called Sunstone. I will have a photo right here, but what I'm holding up uh, was two of the Real Bronze shades that was available for actually a, a good number of years. And, you know, eventually they were just kind of phased out. Um, I still have them because they're lovely. And Sunstone, you can expect the formula to be uh, very similar or the same. In fact, it has the same embossing and it has that slight shimmer you see here. Just a slight shimmer. 
and you can barely see it on my hand. It gives a really beautiful lifted look. Um, it goes on very softly. I do have quite a bit of sun already as we're like halfway through summer. So I am using the deeper shade of the two. Just want to, see, uh, this is Goya. I want to show you how it goes on. And I feel very chiseled just from that. I'd probably buff it out a little bit more um, if I was going out. I'll show you how that soft lifted look and the chiseled effect. If I was using Serena, I would, I can put this all over my face um, just to warm up my foundation as well. So I, I really have been a fan of these. I didn't pick up Sunstone, although I'm considering it. Um, the shade Sunstone itself is, I believe, between these two, between Serena, the lighter, um, the cooler, and Goya, the deeper, redder uh, of, of, the, of the three shades now available. It also has a different packaging, actually, as you can see in the photo from earlier. And uh, I love for them to actually bring back these two shades as well because they've just been in favorites. All right, moving on to the beauty items. Um, this has been a staple for the past year in my skincare regime. And that is going to be their gentle cleansing milk that's infused with mallow and cornflower to moisturize and soothe. A lot of botanicals in their skincare as well as their makeup. So this is no different. Um, you can consider this as like, your quintessential um, gentle cleansing milk product. It is it is exactly that. Um, but what I love about it is truly just how gentle and soothing it is. I was in Hawaii earlier this year and we did a very nice uh, family photo shoot on the beach. So I, I was you know very meticulous with the makeup. It had gone on, the shoot had happened, it was great. When I went back to the hotel to remove the makeup, like my eyes, my lids were just burning. And I think it was a reaction from, you know, the makeup being in the sun and then using the eye gel I was using at the time. And for a few days, I really, I just really didn't tolerate much on my eye. I definitely couldn't use the eye gel anymore. And so I would just use this cleanser to, uh, you know, cleanse my eyelids basically and it didn't burn it. Uh, it's the same thing, but I have patches on my face that, you know, maybe was a little too exposed uh, to sun, even though I have sunscreen on. That was the other thing, I did have sunscreen on and it still kind of irritated it. I would just keep using this cleanser to um, remove makeup, but also to soothe the area. And this has worked really well for me. It makes me feel a little bit better when I'm going through, you know, skin skin issues. Um, so I will be stocking up on this as well. And so filming today, all the products I talk about here, unless it's a limited edition item, is in stock. Um, so I do want to preface that. So uh, moving on to another cleansing related item, I got a chance to try their Rose Demise Cleansing Balm this past year. I didn't bother cleaning this because I wanted to just show you just how much love this product got and I've used it all, just whatever I could scrape up at the bottom. And this also has our classic Rosamize rose scent infused in it. So if this is, um, if Rosamize, that scent is something you enjoy, I think you'll enjoy this as well. It's a very nourishing cleansing balm that I very, very much enjoyed uh, using. I will definitely be picking up this again. And then if you've noticed any difference in my skin, um, postpartum, I actually did struggle with some of the products I use before I got pregnant that worked really well for me because my skin just doesn't tolerate it anymore. A bit disappointing. Um, so it was around that time that I got to try their Bio Lifting Serum Plus, this is Chantecaille's Bio Lifting Serum. And so if you've noticed uh, my skin being different, uh, especially around these, like the forehead area here, I attribute that change to this Bio Lifting Serum. It's supposed to give you your skin a lifted look and, um, uh, help with fine lines and, and whatnot. And I used to have a lot of trouble in these two areas here where it would get really dry. And you know, when I did this, you can really see those lines come in. Um, so it was a problem area for me. 
with using this, let me just do that again. It has calmed down, it has faded, and I feel just a lot better. You know, it's not patchy, it's not dry, and with age, lines will come, but the fact that we're just uh, keeping the skin nicely hydrated and uh, lifted uh, has done really well for me, and I love the results of this. This is something that um, I have used every single evening, but it's not something you have to use every day. It just depends on your needs. If you want that extra hydration, you can certainly use this every day. And it does come like a dropper. So like any serums, and you can massage into your skin with a roller or a gua sha tool. Um, so I have been using this for quite some time and it's just lovely. So that is why I recommend it. Moving on here, another item that I tried over the past year is their Radiance Elixir. This is what I have on under all my makeup. It's also a product you can mix in with your foundation as well. It gives you boosted hydration, boosted radiance, and the even glow you're seeing is coming from that. Some days I do need the extra hydration and this really helps me. Um, if there's any skin, skin irritation I'm experiencing, it also kind of helps keep things calm throughout the day. And um, yeah, I just step out feeling very refreshed and looking very fresh as well. So I have also a video on this product, like a wear test to show you how it looks and evolves throughout the day. Once again, if you're interested, I will have another video link below for you to take a look. But this is certainly the most luxurious um, glow serum that I have tried. And I have a series on glow serums or glow primers. Um, and this is indeed the most luxurious, uh, definitely a top three for me, if not my favorite. We're down to the last two items here, wrapping up. My second to last item is going to be the 24 karat gold firming moisturizer. I pair this with the bottle lifting serum. It's a very luxurious uh, pair to have in my skincare routine. And I find that this works well in that it, you know, the skin does look firmer while this kind of fills in the lines. Um, if you're looking to switch from one Chantecai moisturizer to another with the purpose of like looking for firmer skin, I do recommend this. And for my last item is going to be their orange flower water. This is what I use after I remove my makeup to give my face or my skin some added hydration or to actually give back hydration because um, while this is very, very gentle and nourishing, I'm still using other makeup removers to really get all the layers of makeup off um, at the end of the day. Getting some hydration back really does help. It also helps with like putting on moisturizers and serums, like the skin is more primed to absorb it better. And that's why I use something like this. Uh, they did bring back recently, or back in stock recently, the Rose de Mai water which is very popular i haven't had a chance to try that um, but either one of these I, I would recommend as well and this is 100 natural something that is um, important to me in my skincare something that i put on my skin every day i just want it to be more ingredient conscious uh, as our skin is the largest organ we have well thank you for watching i hope you found this video um, to include some interesting items that enhances your shopping as you're going through their website and Chantecai does ship internationally, if you were wondering. You can also join the Le Royale program that gives you points for every order you have. And um, yeah, I've been working with this brand for a couple of years and they've been um, just really wonderful. And the products, of course, are, are just beautiful. I would not be here talking about this for three or four years in a row if that was not the case, if I didn't like or believe in the products. Thanks guys for watching. See you next time. Bye.